I am so happy and lucky to have two shows run for 900 years. That's great. I don't know how I pulled it up. By the way, equal with my luck for that is my unluckiness of being a fan of a Matt Nagy coach team. <laughs> Uh, Ryan Pace has put together the most beautiful squad that has ever seen an NFL surf. Mm. If only NFL films could do a classic John Facenda episode yeah. about how bad the Bears suck. And that was when the Bears sucked worse, as Justin it, Fields was brought to the turf for a ninth time by the Cleveland Browns. Like that? That yeah. sort of thing? Well, yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, you yep. know what? But you that can... Tampa Bay game was worse than the Cleveland game, if you ask me. Okay, I will ask you. Worse. Why was it worse than the Cleveland game, Jeff? Why? It was worse because we we put Tom Brady all day long into a situation of him going, oh, all right, I'm going to do this. You know, there was no challenges for Tom Brady that day. And we got to put our defense at worst when we're on offense in a position Right. Like when we play Cleveland, the defense played great, but this was beyond. And what's what, I, by the way, yes. when you have trouble giving credit to your offensive coordinator for being the uh, 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 the calling the plays, yes. and you can't even do that when they did. Eh, all right, you know what? My, as my friend Brad Moore, no, he didn't say it. Someone told him. So I don't know who to give credit to, but somebody deserves credit. Here's the premise. Everything you need to know about Matt Nagy is in this. He's a bald man wearing a visor. <laughs> I have had... You need more than that. Hold you on a second. You need more than that. Yeah, now, here's the deal, Jeff. Um, yeah. I have brought this subject up to Matt Nagy on this program. As a fellow member of the Bald Brotherhood, I told him to wear the ball cap. That, the, yeah. that, that as a fellow member of the Bald Brotherhood, that the um, the visor not only does it leave him open to sunburn and things of that nature just for no 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 health no, no. safety reasons sunburn and skin cancer i don't wish it on him of course i'm not, not that kind of no fan, but i just said it, it i said it amongst other things of course it it it, it, yeah. it it accentuates the baldness is what i'm saying it so by the way which by the way as a bald man you should respect because you go look at you throwing it out there because, you know, Larry David famously said, in terms of dating, the, the hat has to come off sometime. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not just, it's yeah. not just the, the visor. It's also the headset going across. So you've got, you've got a yeah, circumference, and then you've got sort of a bisecting situation, and it's just, you know, I no, know. It's a big ball of wrong. But, by the way, as bad as that is, not as bad as this play calling. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ryan Pace. I'd like to trade you, um, uh, uh, Kelly Mack, do you have a pennant? Do you have a pennant or maybe uh, a box of fudge? I will trade him for you because I have no <laughs> clue what I'm Careful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> careful, careful. Oh. Jeff Garland here on the Rich Eisen Show <laughs> going all Marshawn Lynch like it's the uh, Manning cast. Well, Larry was very upset with Jeff the other day, as he mentioned here. Because because Jeff Schaefer just blurted out on text about the Jets score, and Je Larry said that that is a no no. That you should though he uses his worms always assume tape, and I said for a live sporting event that's asking a lot of somebody that you're assuming well, let's, somebody's. Let's take a jump back. Yeah, you want my opinion on this? Yes, that that's what I, that, that's okay. what I'm saying. Yes, your opinion. Uh, if he's mad at the Jets because they put out a score. Uh, he's overstepped his bounds. You don't put out a score on Twitter. You don't do that. Okay. Because there are people who wait. Sometimes I, I'm doing something. I have to wait, wow. especially with the Bears now. The Bears are not must-see for me now, even though I have the package and I, I watch right. for the most part. By the way, I was uh, – uh, no, I agree with Larry. You I do? Larry, what? I'm mad at oh, no, no. i got to tell you, come Jeff. on now. I mean, this is live sports. You, you no, know. no, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. You don't tweet out a score. I'm no, sorry, no. you don't. No, he texted but, him. Probably, he says, hey, how about those Jets Red. or something like that? You know, is what he said, and Larry got upset no, with Jeff. I don't care. You don't say anything. You don't. He should know better. Now, you're Rich Eisen. Yes, sir. If somebody follows you and they think, oh, I'm not going to ever get in the NFL news, then they're ignorant. And if you send it out and they're mad at you, then they're ignorant. You're going to get out. And you're Rich Eisen. He's Jeff Schaefer. He's in the world of comedy. Leave the Jets out of it. Uh, by the way, mm -hmm. I called Larry David yes, sir. the other day because mm -hmm. I was curious at the most recent Jets loss. I said, let me ask you a question. 
do you like the coach or is he just faced with the worst situation? I love the coach. Worst situation. Yeah. So there you go. I'm with you. I'm I'm with that too. To be honest with you. It's, but by the way, yeah, I, we we have the potential to have a really good offense and defense. When I say we, you know, I own the Bears. Yes. I... So I want to <laughs> announce that I'm firing Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace today and re- replacing them with a mentally challenged ten year old. <laughs> Well, Jeff, um, listen, uh, I I don't think you own the Bears. I thought Aaron Rodgers owned the Bears, <laughs> Jeff. By the way, all right, let's jump to that for a second. Please. All right? Yeah. Uh, how do you do? All right, so the woman gives him the double bird, and he yells, I own you, to everyone. Mm-hmm. And uh, my opinion is, he does, he does, he does, he has, he will. <laughs> oh, if you're a Chicago Bear fan and you have trouble with what he said, you're an idiot because – he owns us. He owns us. He's single-handedly uh, keeping the the uh, the fight between the Packers and the Bears alive because he you got to root. You know, whereas I hate the Vikings, I respect the Packers. Respect them so much. Uh, they kind of screwed things up this past year with Aaron Rodgers. But mark my words, Aaron Rodgers will finish his career a Bear. <laughs> no, no, I, I just threw that in to see if you were listening. I'm paying, um, every, I'm paying strict attention, Jeff. I'm paying well, by strict the way, attention. He owns us. He certainly can afford to pay himself. Oh, my gosh. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.